Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can validate the API data in Laravel. So first of all, we will import the validation class in Laravel controller. After that, we will apply the validation for uh, API and there we will choose the add student API uh, to apply the validation so that we can uh, validate the name, email ID and phone number uh, for APIs. Then we will test like API is working properly or not and validation pro uh, working properly or not. And at last we will verify the database table for check that data is getting stored in the uh, database after validation or not. This is the Laravel 11 tutorial playlist that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first of all, let's open the controller and uh, import the validation class. So this is, okay, let me just uh, uh, collapse all of the folder. Then let's go to the controller folder and uh, student controller. So this is uh, add student function that is responsible for uh, add student API. So before start working on this, let's import the validation class. So let me import Illuminate, then support, then facade, and then validator class. After that, let's go to the add student function and there let's take a variable for rules, rules and in the rule there will be an array and inside this array we will decide which fields we want to uh, validate and what kind of validation we want to apply. For example, first I will apply the validation on the name field. So there you can see that we have three fields in the student table, name, email ID and phone number. So we will apply the validation all on the all of these three fields. So first on the name, I want to apply validation like it should be required, required then minimum uh, characters in the name should be two. Then uh, you can see that maximum character should be the 10. And first of all, let's apply the validation only on only for the name. Then we will apply validation for name as well as for phone number. Now, let's take a variable let's say validation and then there we will use validator class there is a function we call make and there we will uh, validate the old request that is coming from the parameter and rule so we don't need this validator function validate function we can re uh, just remove it after that let's apply a if condition and there we can check uh, validation and then there is a function fails if validation fails then we can return something from there let's say return and dollar validation and then we'll say errors all right and else for this if everything is working fine then we can uh, store the data in the api right so let's format it and now let's open the Thunder client, let me open new request, request should, type should be the post and there let me add, add student and we have to add some validation in the body also. So let me add their first name, let's say name is also blank, then uh, we have to use quotes with this, then let's say email, email is also let's say ABC and then uh, phone number and let's say phone number is also double one double one so if I just try to send a request to this you can see that name field is required so we got that validation and if I just put there a then again you will see the name must be at two at least two characters so if I just put there anil then it will store the data you can see that new student is added so if I just refresh now you can see that there is a new student but is it okay to store just abc for the email because at the last of email there should be dot com so there should be a proper email right so for that let's apply two more validations for uh, email as well as for phone number so email should be required and uh, it should be the type of email then phone number is required and uh, minimum character is let's say one right so again if you just come there on the new request send a request you can see that email field must be a valid validate valid email anil at the rate 
abc.com and now it will be getting stored in the database so let's say if i just put their phone number is also blank then you will see phone number field is required if i just put their one field still you okay so if i just put their minimum validation is two then it will not allow to the phone number like phone number field is at least two characters and if i just put their three four characters then it will allow to store so that's how we can store uh, we can apply the validations on the api data in laravel if you have confusion any doubts you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm number for donation i'll request you to subscribe my channel share this video with others and like this video share your feedback in comment section thanks guys